Hey guys, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. I know this is a really popular game, and that's why I've decided to do this. I know it's been done on a few, quite a few channels, Jacksepticeye mainly, and Markiplier, I think I may have done them a few times. I don't know, PewDiePie's also done them. So I thought I'd give it a go, give you guys a, a, bit, a look at this game and everything. So I hope you'll enjoy um, the way this game looks or what happens to this. It, because I've played this game on my own in the past because I wanted to try and like know what to do in this game and everything. So I'm, what I've, what I'm the aim of this game at the moment is to be able to go straight into space. So, and so this is what I'm doing. Um, so let's start off by having this pod thing. And what what are we gonna have with it? Okay, let's have a look. Okay. Let's have one of them. I'm going to, what the aim what I'm gonna to want to do is basically get a satellite up into space and probably in, in an orbit around the planet, sort of planet curvel. So or Kerbin, yeah, Kerbin, yeah, planet Kerbin. And so, and so basically, because you know, there's a starting point, because I want to be able to just, um, create my own little um, space station -y sort of thing. So I'm going to try it, we're going to have, make, uh, use this. Right, so we've got in, into this part now, right, and what we're going to do is, because I'm going to try to sort this out for a while. And you, this is getting frustrating. Right. Let's um, put we've got our own little rockets on this thing now. The thing on the top is a docking port, so we can basically open that up and uh, have other things connect to it. I could probably add like um, add a um, what should I call them? Uh, other part, other parts of another station, so I can make the station bigger if I wanted to. So uh, parachute. Yeah, it's going up to space. So do I want a parachute? No. Just get rid of it. There's nowhere I can put it, so go to that. Right, what else can I put on this thing? Mm. Battery pack? Yeah, why not? I'll put a battery pack on there. I need, I can't just have all of those things all at the moment, I need, because if I'm going to move it around space, I need to have a few, few points, so, there we go, sorted. Right, I've got the staging set the way I want it, because, really, really odd, right, zero isn't the first thing to go. You've got three stations, three will go first, then two, then one and then zero sort of thing or whatever or if it's one two and three then one will be the last one to go so if you want to see that's where you've got it the last part staging is the first part to operate right you need these things on now to basically um, operate and work sort of thing stiff neck Right, and the button what I've got on here is the um, center of mass. And if you have, if you want to move things properly, you want things to balance out. You need to have things around the center of mass, because if you've got things over the center of mass or below the center of mass, you want things really. If you've got thrusters, you want them below the center of mass. Otherwise, uh, and you want and you don't want, don't want too much above the center of mass because you want to lean left or right. So you keep things operational. Okay, that's not worked. And I've just blown up the air. Uh, okay, I've just blown that all up. Okay. Right, back to this part here. Let's get rid of all of that. Let's get rid of all of these. Let's get rid of that. Right, uh, let's make this a bit more simple. Okay. 
these things. It was too heavy before, that's so why it didn't take off. Those on the side, okay. Uh, what's the lightest, most useful? Right, so those are all our things there for oh, having an unmanned drone sort of thing. Too small, they're too small. Um, oh, what about these things? Oh, they just right. Oh, they they just right. This one, yeah, yeah, they just right. There we go. Hey, there we are. All right, let's see how this thing goes. Right, is there anything else I need? <coughs> That's a booster, don't need a booster. I need that, I need to get rid of that. I need to get rid of that. all be in the correct order, it seems to be. Alright, because the, the blue jets go first, then they disconnect, then the main then either then the main that main body part will disconnect and then that'll all go. And I've named my uh, my uh, probe the first uh, the first probe or whatever. Fast forward it. I want to like be able to. I want to get this into. I want to be. I want to. I'm to look at this at night time and I've added the uh, lights on it. So hopefully this will look really cool. I think I like the lights. Have I added lights on this thing? Yeah, I did. Oh, there we go. That looks awesome. Well, oh my god, that's awesome. really cool. One small step for man. A giant leap for a horrible kind. <laughs> I don't want the lights on yet, so. Right, so. Now, how am I gonna have a point where it's meant to be going to? Ah, set target, there we go. I asked the moon. I'm aiming to go into the same orbit as the moon. Right, so I can't zoom in. Right, what's this? Uh, load, uh, loading? Yeah, there we go. Oh, see, there we are. Alright, so space. So, so, let's launch this thing. That I destroyed the landing stage. That is cool. That looks awesome. I love that. It looks really, really
it's going. It's going into space. It's going into space. Right. Let's forward this a little bit. I don't want to go too fast because apparently if it goes too fast, things freak out if they're not in complete control. Right. <coughs> Leave that the way it is for the moment. Okay. Seems to be working or so far so good. I'm not really happy with this. Okay. before anything else. I'm running out of fuel before I can even hit anywhere near the amount of um, height I need to get out of the planet's orbit. God damn it. Oh, fuck, it's freaking out. Is it? Yeah, it's freaking out. Yeah, it hasn't disconnected. It hasn't disconnected from what I wanted it to disconnect to from. What can I just stop the running phone? God damn it. I'm relying on the one blooming booster now. Oh, geez. Well, I've had to revisit the whole drawing board and I've redone the whole thing. And I've got more powerful rockets on this thing. And this thing is freaking out and it's not going well. Oh, god damn it, I'm dying in a blaze of fiery glory. Jesus, damn it, great. god damn it. That failed. Epic, epic fail. New try. I've got a, a, a four boosters with really powerful thrusters, I've, and it seems to be going really well. I have three carbon, I have about twelve, maybe ten carbons, of about, yeah, about, no, about eight carbons in this, uh, carbons in my rocket now because I've got a nice little carbon crew. So, yeah, let's have a looky see and see how this all works now. Right. Oh, no, I'm summoning my eye. I've done it. Let's do it. Oh, you look for. Oh, frick. Ow, oh, they blew my blamming rocket. Alright. Try number two. Let's see how this goes. Ah, let's have a look at the inside of my rocket. There we are. We're on 130 meters. Oh, let's see. What's that say? He's eating. Bill Terman has eaten all of the snacks. No. But wait, I'm Bill Terman, aren't I? Oh, I'm playing to Bill Terman, right? Oh, wait, that's a note to myself. Yes, I ate all of my own snacks. Fair enough. God damn it, it's in my eye! Get out of my eye! Right. In space, let's, let's have a looky. Yeah, I'm getting out of the orbit now. I've actually got enough thrust. Still going. It's night time. It was daytime. It's now night time. Okay. Since I'm in space, I'm going to try and exit this thing and have a look. I'm going to crew cabin. That's what I'm going to do. See if I can. I kind of forgot how to leave the um, IVA when you're in the, the cockpit. I kind of forgot how to do that, so yeah. I have to try and figure that out. Alright. Let's have a look here. So, uh, how are we doing? We're not moving. We are just persistently travelling. At over 8,000 kilometers a second. Well, at least I'm going in a straight line. I'm not freaking out everywhere. Oh, hey, crew cabin, here we are. <coughs> they're, they're all happy go lucky, aren't they? No, they're all happy bastards. Right. Uh, C to get out of the blown uh, crew cockpit. 
if you, if you go to the view at C. Right, let's climb down out of there, let's land on here. Right. Uh, so I'm leaning backwards. Thrusters, use your thrusters, come on. Is that the matrix? I can't use my thrusters. I can't make um, Bill move. <coughs> Is this how I go? What? Right, we start that. Right. There we go. Let's try this out again. I'm not gonna go press there this time and get through there. It's going to go really well this time, hopefully. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Right. Bill's the only one in the space suit because, he's the, because it's the cockpit area is the one person over there. So, right. Yeah, plumbing. Ah, still in my eye. Get out of my eye! Right. Oops, yeah, I think that, yeah. Right. The thrusters are finally working. Usually they. Oh, as it. Oh, well, yeah, it stopped. It's not working. Flamed out, okay. Let's see. Let's have a good looky here. Let's get out of there. Right then, let's see if I can get finally into enough orbit so I can go around the planet. Don't freak out. Do not freak out. Oh look, that looks really nice. It's so pretty. Pretty, so pretty, and pretty, and pretty, and pretty. I know, I'm destroying everything. Right. The blue line is where I'm estimated to, to stop. Hmm. I want to aim towards the blooming giant rock moon thing right there. That's where I'm aiming to go. Well, so I can. Uh, well, not on that. No, I don't want to hit it. I just want to like, get in line with it so I can get around the orbit of the planet. Alright. Still haven't figured out how to fully control things. But for some reason, my rotary thrusters are meant to keep me balanced are not working. I'm not sure what mistake I've made. Okay. I am. I, I, can, I think I'm finally far enough away to, I can, to face the sun and, dis, and open all of these. It's a proper satellite, you see? These things open up majorly. The ones that look like. that, that look like that window wipers. Uh, that look at how far those things flip and open up. They're massive. It's a proper satellite now. Look at this thing. It's a proper satellite. Alright, there we go. Right, I've had to, I've had to I mean, re angle it. Right. Right. And I had to start again as well. But I went a little bit too far. Because uh, uh, where I where I was facing, because I hadn't stopped moving, and where I was facing, really, it was really really good. You will see where I've ended up. There's the planet. There's the moon, and this is the orbit I'm in. The blue line is the orbit I am in. Yep, that's my orbit. Yeah. I am I'm not orbiting the planet, I am not in the same orbit as the moon, I am in an orbit around the sun. So let's open these things up again, show you again, yep, that light blue line is my orbit. I failed miserably at trying to get it around my planet. Got it in a perfect orbit, perfect orbit. But it's not the orbit I wanted. <laughs> Uh, if any of you guys have any pointers on like how to improve things, like how to get or more, like if I've missed anything or, or I have missed things, I know that. But I mean, like how I can make these things work better for me, sort of thing. That'd be really brilliant. It really would be. Those things fold out, don't they? That's awesome. 
Well, there's stuff on here. Oh, that is cool. That's awesome. But yeah, it's like, oh, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. And uh, I hope you've all enjoyed this episode of Canada Space Program. Got the damn thing is still in my eye. Um, I hope you all look forward to the next episode. Please give me any pointers like, on how I can make this episode, these, this series better. And I hope, and I hope you all come back for part two of Global Space Program. Thank you for watching.